going to take a look at the battle foam that I have for my Tyranids. This is the largest army that I have, so I have quite a bit of foam for it. They, I believe I can fit almost everything I have into the foam. These first couple of trays here, I have two of these trays, I believe, and they fit termagants in there. You can see how they go in there pretty nice. And these are the inch and a half version, but I have two of those. So they're a pretty good design. I think I can fit all but two termagants I have into these. you want to count and see how many are in there. I have three of these next tray and these are designed to take hormigants. You can kind of see how the, that one got poking out but bend him down a little and he fits right back in there. They, uh, they fit into these nicely. And I have three of those and I believe I actually have three extra spaces so I can probably fit those termigants I have into those. Now I have a lot of gene stealers, so I have four trays with gene stealers in them. And they sell this as a gene stealer tray, or when I bought it they did, but it could just as easily fit a lot of other things, but it's 24 little circles. So you can kind of see how the gene stealer fits in there. He'll stand up. Then it'll poke out. Now they'll go jiggle around in there but they're not gonna hit anything and they'll fit the old gene stealers as well as the new ones so I've got almost almost four full trays of those I think I've got four empty slots and that's it take a look at the next one and I don't know if this is a I don't think this is a custom tray I think this is just a tray that takes their Ravager slot Ravener my bad not Ravager thinking Dark Eldar now you can kind of see how those fit in there and these are three of the old metal ones and they fit in there good and I still have I had enough to where getting a tray without custom doing a custom one. I could just get this standard and I'd have six extra slots. I think I have some of the arms set to magnetize, so it gives me space to put the extra bits in there too. Now the next two trays are gargoyle trays. see they're a little bit weird on the design but you've got them to where the tail fits down in here okay. yeah to where the tail goes down in there and I don't have these glued on but it will fit in with the plug still on it Looks like it takes one, two, three, four. Looks like it takes 18 of those. And then I got some little squares on the side that I fit ripper swarms in. But I believe that's their standard gargoyle tray. In their custom gargoyle slot. So you could actually, with their custom tray designer, take this slot and lay it out if you had less gargoyles and fit some other stuff in the same tray. Now these are my Shrikes and I have Forge World wings on them so I just did a custom tray with looks like 10 ovals and I think I just measured the wing tip and then the side of the oval and then just did the rest so they'll lay down flat or they'll stand up in there and they'll move around a little. That's that's one where I just 
design the tray to fit it in there how I wanted to. I think these next couple of trays are warriors. I want to say this one's probably a custom tray that I put ovals in and I've got a couple of primes that I've kit bashed together with all the different weapon options for them and then I have a little oval to fit the Broodlord in. And they make two different types of shapes for a warrior. They make one to, to use the heavy weapon and then they have just a standard warrior slot. So I've mixed and matched to fit my warriors in there. And then this is a standard warrior tray I believe and you see the same thing. You got the slot for the standard warrior and then a slot for the heavy weapon. So I got this tray and then determining how many warriors I had left, I custom designed this one on their uh, web page. Here's another one that I just took measurements on the models I had, you know, height, width, and size. And I've got the Venom Thropes in there in an oval. I've got my lictors in an oval. I only have two of those, but I have a third little oval there if I want to. And then for the biovores, I have the old biovores, but these circles will fit the new ones if they ever come in there. There's probably another slot I could throw them in. But I got them big in case I ever replace them and get the new biovores, they'll fit in those circles too. There's an old red metal red tear I have in a circle. And then I have these slots. I have a lot of Ripper Swarms just from all the various other kits that I have. So wherever I had extra room in these trays when I custom made them, I just put those slots for Rippers. That's why even, they don't need, need, even though they don't need to be that deep, the tray needed to be that deep to hold this other stuff. So the extra space I just took advantage of to put my Rippers in. Two more trays and it'll all be over. Now, this is a standard tray to take two, oh, what is that thing called? The big monstrous creature. It takes two of those. This may not be a standard tray, but I've got it set to where it'll take two. two Trigon kits, but I have it magnetized, so this space would normally be taken up by the arms. And then those are the bits, so I can make it a Moloch, a Prime, or a regular Trigon. And these holes will fit a Zoanthrope base, so I can slide him down in there. And they're a little deep, but the tray needed to be that deep for the Trigons. And then this is the size shape that they sell for the Carnifexes. And he looks tiny in there. Partially because the tray is really deep for the Trigon. But uh, also because I have those fully magnetized too. But all the bits I have in a bag. So stick those down in there. And then the last tray I have is another custom done tray. And I did two big ovals for my Hive Tyrants. I probably could have gotten away with having them a little smaller on that end because they really are loose in there. But that's just my measuring going uh, erring on the side of caution as far as size. But I have the Tyrant Guard in these ovals and they fit nicely. The depth is a little high because I, you see where the weapon sticks up, I left the depth good to account for the weapons poking out. We've got three other Tyrant Guard in there. And then this is the shape they have for the Hive Guard. And that's a real nice fit in there. Again, it's deeper than it would need to be for that figure but I put it in a, in a tray with a figure that needed the depth that these others didn't. 